Hello, greeting for the day. My name is Asim Barunwal, and this is my Sweeper project that I've built using C++. I'm using the SFML library for uh, in including the visual elements. This project has been made following the good coding practices. There are multiple modules in this project, including the following. Um, so we have the board.cpp, button.cpp, game.cpp, gameboard.h, main.cpp. And then in files, we have multiple images uh, for the different uh, things. That includes debug, digits, etc. Now, um, uh, we have, uh, I've also done some screenshots for the GitHub. Then there is board config, which determines what is the size of the board. So currently, uh, I have 25 rows and uh, 16 columns, and the number of mines is equal to 50. So this is totally dynamic code. So if, if we will change this board config, it, it can change your whole code. Um, and yeah, I think let us start. So uh, I'll just open the terminal and here it is. And I'll just, I, I've also created a make file. So uh, in this case, my make file will compile all the code inside my SRC and it will just uh, make sure that it is displayed. So let's go. I'll open it in terminal and I'll do a make. As soon as I create uh, create the project and run, the first window that appears is the welcome window. The welcome window has been made sure that the first letter is always capital, uh, even if I type small letters. And I can show you this. Uh, so even if I don't have capital, and I type a small letter, it will just show it capital. And can you see? Uh, this is the others are small, while the first letter is always capital. Also, to make sure that our code does not run out, the the number of characters for a name does not exceed ten, so that it just looks okay. So now I'll just try to play the game. Um, let me give myself a random name such as Infinity, and this starts my game window. So my game window has multiple components, including the smiley icon which is like reset the game i have a debug button which showcases the mines this is for my for the developer point of view and then we have the play pause button which pauses the time and plays it again we have the um uh, the uh, leaderboard button which shows you what is what does the current leaderboard looks like and then we have of course the mine count so we can put flags inside um, the Minesweeper as it is, and we can also double tapping them, um, double right clicking them also removes them. So that is one of the things. As usual, the go goal of the game is to make sure that you discover all the mines. So initially, I would just click here, and uh, so that it, it just uh, results on in a single mine. And as you can see, that this means that there is one mine surrounding to, to this tile. So I'll just click over here, maybe here, and then over here, over here, over here. So yeah, I mean, that works. And in such a way, I can, uh, I've also built like a recursive function, which traverses all the tiles such that in, if, if there is, there are mines, as, as it is made in a typical minesweeper. So just to win, right now, I'll just um, uh, show you with, with the help of this. So usually the debug button will not be enabled to play an actual game of Minesweeper. But right now, since I'm doing it a demo, I can just show you that this code is actually working. So yeah. And I know the Minesweeper nodes will be going shouting at me, but I'm not a very uh, pro at Minesweeper. I don't have, I don't know how to play, but yeah, that's about it. So yeah, there, there goes it. And okay. I 
I think I have a tile left. Oh, it is right over here. So as soon as I click over here, that means that I won the game. So my position in the in the leaderboard will get changed because I won the game just now. And then I'll, I'll click on star. So uh, like my position is also seen with a star because like this is my current user. And then I'll just uh, hit exit and we can see that the timer has stopped and um, and no changes have been made so now let us click over here again and that resets the game uh, I can show you that clicking on a mine actually ends the game and um, yes they, they there we see it. this this turns to a sad face and after this nothing can be changed so yeah I, I think this this is the whole working of this minesweeper um, and that was about it. Thank you for listening to me.